Hello my friends, how are you doing? This is Rachel from Sweet Bee Paper Co. and I am here with a tutorial. I'm so excited to be back to doing tutorials. I feel like I got a little bit of my mojo back. And so we're here with a simple one, a way to use up some of the card envelopes that you get or envelopes in the mail. I have this from something. This was a card I received. And so I want to use those in my journals and I got this idea from Kyung. I will have her channel linked down below in the description box. I thought this was such a cute idea and I love using up envelopes. So these two I'm going to wait and use for something else because mainly because they're a little bit too tall for the journals that I'm working in now. So I may save these for a different journal in the future that it would fit that they would fit because I really don't want to cut them down and so I've got these two here this one I think is going to go for my summer or my um, seasons journal and this one is for my nightmare before Christmas journal so we're going to be doing a flowery one and then a spooky one <laughs> so what you're going to need for this is an envelope it can be open with the flap up like this or Maybe if you've cut the flap off, that's totally fine. You're going to need some glue. I'm going to use um, glue stick and then some of the art glitter glue, or you could use barely art or whatever liquid type glue you like to use to glue pockets down with. I'm going to be using some distress. I'm using vintage photo today. I may not use distress on the spooky one we'll kind of see some scissors and a pencil and I think that's it besides some paper and some embellishments so I'm gonna be using the Maggie Holmes Woodland Grove collection let me get a little bit more organized over here <laughs> The Maggie Holmes Woodland Grove Floral Ephemera to decorate, I think. We'll see what papers we end up picking from this. So let's work on this smaller one first. So the first thing I'm going to do is glue this little piece down that kind of came up um, when it was mailed to me. And then you can either trim this off we're going to glue the flap behind it okay so you can either cut the flap completely off you can glue it completely down or I think Kyung showed where she kind of cut some of the flap off um, I think oops, I think because it's so small I'm just gonna go ahead and um, just glue it down. The other one I may trim off since the envelope is a lot um, bigger and I just got my hand over it because it's got my my address on it. Okay so now that I've got that glued down and we'll kind of talk about if you don't want to glue it down to usually some envelopes are just a little flimsy like this one's pretty thin so if you have that glued down this is reinforced just a little bit and Kyung brought that up I said I thought that was a good good point for not cutting it completely off so Maggie Holmes Woodland Grove I have a video uploaded showing where I flipped through and uh, showed what I got from that collection because I didn't get everything I love this cute blue probably should have looked before I got started I think the butterflies in this striped page would look really cute too because I need two pages okay I love this this is I think this one is a go that would be really cute probably on the outside so let's find something for inside what about this or this 
I kind of like this. I think this is really cute. So this is a six by eight pad and some of the papers I think are the same as the main pad. I can't totally remember. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is first decide which way I want this pattern to be. I think we'll do up and down. So what I'm gonna do is cut this down so that it will fit inside this envelope and you can use a um, paper trimmer if you like. I'm just gonna use my scissors. So just like this. So we're actually going to be lining the envelope with this paper, okay? so. Really, I just kind of want to trim it to the edge there. So I'm going to take my pencil and just do a line across. I think I am going to go ahead and have it just be in the whole envelope. You don't have to do that if you don't want to. You can just have it just be just inside. So we're covering this part of the inside of the envelope. So I'm just going to cut inside my pencil line so that there's a little bit of the envelope showing and we're going to ink that. So what I'm going to do now is take this and kind of hold it up against my um, the main one for the outside and I'm just going to literally just use this to cut this out. This paper is so cute. Okay, let me get the scraps out of the way. Now, what we're gonna do is take the paper for the outside, we're gonna put it in the envelope, and now we're going to trace around the envelope, okay? That way, when we cut it out, it fits this outside piece of the envelope. So I'm just going along the line of the envelope on my paper. Hopefully we can still see the pencil line. Ooh. I can barely see it. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is with my scissors cut just to the left of this, of my pencil line. So just inside of it, that way it's not um, all the way to the edge of the envelope. You can do all the way to the edge of the envelope if you want to. I really like the look she showed with it. Um, so it kind of looks like it's lined. I don't think I did the edge of that one very well. So let's see what it looks like and we might have to do a little bit of trimming. I think this side is fine. I think I need to trim off a little bit of the edge. So I'm just going to eyeball it and see what it looks like. That looks fine. Maybe I'll round these a little more. Mm. I think that's okay. Is it perfect? Mm, probably not, but that's fine. I think it looks really cute. Okay, so now let's ink everything up and then we'll glue everything down. Okay, got all those inked up. Now let's glue. And I think I'll be able to use glue stick for the inside, be able to like slide it into place. I'm using Scotch Creek glue stick, my all time favorite glue stick. So I'm just going <laughs> to try to slide this in, 
Maybe that was a mistake. <laughs> oh no. Okay, I got it in. Oh my gosh, I have glue all over my fingers now. I would say use liquid glue on that, maybe. <laughs> I had to kind of hold it, hold it open a little bit, and it, it was fine. Just glue on my fingers. Fuzz, I don't know, carpet fuzz. Craft room carpet fuzz, which you know, which you know is bad. See, now it's, <laughs> it's on my, oh no, it's fine. Okay, let's get this on there. That is so cute. I love it. Okay, so then let's look at this ephemera and see what we can do. We'll just do the leaves. Very cute. And then, oh, I want to put like a sentiment on it now. Something in the middle. I've got this big, ch big chat. Okay, let's pick a white one. Ooh, charming. Charming. I always put just a little bit of glue on these because they always seem to peel up for me. Straight, yes, very cute. So now we've got this pocket, the actual envelope part here done, which I think looks pretty good having the paper all the way in. And then when we glue it into the journal, you can either glue the whole thing down or you can glue the side bottom and the other side so you have another pocket, which is what I think I'm going to do with this one. And so let's get the other one made and then I'll show you how I'm going to glue it into uh, the journal. So I've got this pretty big envelope. I'm going to cut part of the top flap off. And glue that down. So it's open, there we go, and so this will be the inside decoration, and I'm not actually doing the whole envelope with it, so let me trim this just a little bit. So it Fits. I really shouldn't have to. Wow, it would have been nice if I would have maybe cut that. Had this cut a little straighter. <laughs> Let's see. That's way better. <laughs> way better. Love that. So I've got that paper. Let's do the outside paper. I think I've got this trimmed down already for the envelope. So this envelope, I should have said, just so you have some reference. This one is a little bit over seven inches, a little bit over five, so it fit a five by seven card. And then this little baby one is five and a half by four. I just love this so much. So cute. Okay, so let's stick this in the envelope. We're going to do the same thing. I'm going to put this in and then trace around with a pencil. So I'm just tracing the edge of the envelope here onto the paper. You should be able to see that line there. So that's what I'm going to cut. And I'm going to cut right inside the line. So it's kind of like a frame 
to the paper on the envelope. That was a train. I might have to trim the edge a little bit better. So the reason I picked this paper too for the outside is that because it's busy. Yeah, I need to trim some more of it off. I picked this paper because it was busy um, and then I didn't really need to decorate the outside of it. If that makes sense, I'm just going to let the paper do the decorating part. <laughs> I think this paper is kind of cool. I never really know what to do with like the paper in some of the books. It's like got the strips of stuff on it like this one because it's like I want to cut stuff out. Let's see. How are we looking? I still think I need to trim this one a little bit more. So help trim as much as you feel like you need to. However much of a, like, kind of border you want of your envelope. I think that looks pretty good, but I need a little bit more off the side. And I really like this because it, it's no exact measurement. It's however, wh or like, whatever will fit your envelope. Very nice. Do I want to trim any more? I don't want to take too much off of the top because of the... The words. That'll work. Okay, so I've got both of my papers cut. I, yeah, I'm definitely going to ink up the envelope. So let's get this glued in. I bet since it's a shorter piece, <laughs> should be a little bit easier. To um, kind of kind of get in there. Oops. Okay. Oh gosh. It's okay. No, it's not. It's not. Okay, got it in. Mm, I, you know, I probably think using wet glue to get those in there is probably easier. The outside, though. Because you could probably hold it in place and then kind of put the glue stick in that way, maybe. I don't know. Okay, so then I'm going to put this one on. That looks so cool. So cool. Ooh, I love it. I love it. And then I've got a little cutout on here. And some of that I can use for something else for that journal yeah so like I said um, with the way that this paper is I'm not going to for now add anything extra to it but I will show you how I glue it in my journal if I can remember which page I decided on so that's what I was saying before too is if you know what journal you're going to be putting something in um, Definitely check to see if it's going to fit in there first. And then I think I wanted to show one going the other way. So if you wanted to put one on the other page, but I had already cut, cut that one piece. So I don't know if I want to put it right by the bag. Let's go ahead and put it on this music sheet here. 
So I've got my wet glue, so I'm going to go down the side, or both sides, and the bottom. I'm just going to do a thin line of glue. Oops. I can stay on the envelope. So don't do the top where the opening is if you want it to... Um, be a pocket underneath. So, so I've got a pocket here with the envelope and then I've got a pocket here behind it. Pretty cool. So I will be gluing this one in the same way that I glued this one in so I can have um, a pocket on the back as well. So yeah, I hope you like the video. If you make these, let me know. I think they turned out really cute. They're really simple. It's, I think the hardest part was picking out the paper, to be honest. But yeah, make sure you like the video, subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!